Hello. Okay, so it's Monday, I'm bored, and you know what that means, Amazon purchases. So a few weeks ago, uh, or maybe it was last week, I don't know, they all run together, um, the power went out in my house, and I realized when the power went out in my house that I was wildly unprepared for such an occurrence. So as I was online perusing, as I do, um, I found something, and what I found was a survival kit. And in the moment, I was like, Meg, like, you don't need a survival kit. What do you need a survival kit for? But then I was like, what if I do? Like, what if I do need a survival kit? And as I'm laying there possibly dying, I think to myself, man, I sure wish I had bought that survival kit. So, um, swept by now, bought it. Um... It was advertised as a survival backpack, and I would like to first off say that I was hoodwinked and bamboozled because in the photo, there was a whole grown man holding what appeared to be a full grown man sized backpack, but that is not what I got. Um, what I got was this, which is at best um, a satchel, a pouch, a backpack it is not. Um, but it was only $20, so what do we care? Um, so anyway, uh, it just came today. I haven't opened it yet, so I thought maybe it would be fun to just film myself opening it because I don't know what's in it. And um, we'll see what happens. This video might be too long. Um, I might not post it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. What do we care? 10 people watch it anyway, so um, we'll see. So all I know about this backpack right now is that it's camouflaged, thank goodness, in case I need to hide, right? Um, it has this on it, which I think means like, hey, I know first aid, um, which I don't, false advertisement, and then it has this on it to say, hey, I am an American, in case anyone didn't know, or in case they forgot. Maybe I'm in a foreign country when I need it, I don't know. All right, so, um, I was thinking, Whenever I bought this, ooh, oh wow, it's really packed in here, guys. Okay, so I was thinking when I bought this, like, where am I gonna keep it? My shirt's very, like, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Um, I was thinking when I bought this, like, where am I gonna keep it? Am I gonna keep it in my house? Am I gonna keep it in my car? Am I just gonna carry it on my person at all times? That seems like a lot. So I decided I'll keep it in my car, because I feel like if something happens in my house, like at least I have shelter, I have water, I'll probably be okay. I'll probably need this more should an emergency occur in my car. What if I drive off of a ravine? What if I get stuck in an ice storm or an avalanche? Um, there's just really a myriad of things that could happen whilst in my car that I might need my survival backpack for. So that's where I'll keep it. So. Um, it comes like this. I mean, if you can see it, it's, um, it's kind of all really packed in here. So, let's see what we see. All right, ponchos. Um, right off the top, uh, very smart. Uh, protect me from the elements. Or, I'm a thinker. Or, if I need to build a shelter, I can use these ponchos and put them place them over I build I build the roof obviously but then I can place the ponchos over the roof as to protect me from the snow and ice from the ice storm or from other elements I can have that as an extra layer of protection done all right we've got a little first aid booklet probably just have some basic first aid um, steps I'll read that later stay educated we've got some pretty um, simplistic first aid tools. We got some wraps, we've got, you know, some tape. Very, very handy, should I have a wound, a laceration? You never know. All right, so we have got, okay. This comes in a little pouch. It has a spot on the back for, for put it on my belt, easy access. Um, this, it, is this pliers? 
I think this is pliers. Guys, I just want to say, for the record, we all know I'm a low-maintenance gal, all right? Like, I don't wear makeup. Like, my hair stays like this all the time. But an outdoorsman, I am not. I'm not. I don't think it's fun. I don't like it. People that go camping just for leisure, I don't get it. I think you're crazy. Um, so I don't know, really know if I would make it out there. Probably not, but I have this kit, and that's the first step is preparation. Am I right? So I think this is called a Swiss Army knife. I don't know. It's some sort of multifaceted tool that I'm sure will come in handy for my survival. Absolutely. All right. Ooh. Got a knife here. She's a sharp one. So this is good. This is, if I'm stuck out there, I'm going to need to eat. So I can use this knife to kill some wild game for my dinner. Should it be an antelope or... A bear or a duck I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen out there guys I just know that I have this knife and I'll be ready or I will probably need this knife to cut down some limbs for my shelter that we talked about Ooh, don't cut yourself all right that's good I like that I like where this is going I have this square. It looks like it has some jagged thing on the side in case I need it. I don't know what all these <laughs> you I was gonna say something and somebody was gonna make a dirty joke. I'm not gonna say it. Um I don't know what this is. So we'll just put that and I'll revisit that at a later time and figure out what that is. Scissors for my first aid or to help build my poncho house. Very, um, very nice. We got a stick and a green piece. Yo, I'm gonna need somebody to come and tell me what all these things do. <gasps> oh, I think it's how you start a fire, right? Isn't that how you start? <laughs> what if I started a fire right here? That would make for a great video. Um, calm down. I think that's what that is. Maybe that's not what it is at all. In my mind, that's what it is. What do I know? All right, more bandages. Lovely. Mouth to mouth mask. Because certainly if I'm in an emergency and somebody needs mouth to mouth resuscitation, I'm going to be like, hold up, hold up. Let me go get my mouth to mouth mask. That's dumb. Get out of here. Examination gloves. <laughs> Okay, okay. We got this thing. Oh, okay. I know I know what this is. I don't know what it's called, but I know what it does. You make it, you put it, you put around a rope like that. And then if you need it, you secure it safely. Secure it sa oh, it says not for climbing. I was about to say so I can climb something. And that says not uh, not for climbing. Might have to anyway. You, you, there can't be rules when you're surviving in the wild. I don't know what this is. Sturdy. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. Fishing equipment. Okay. We got some hooks. We got some little little things. I don't know. Um, this is good. This is good. I can make a fishing rod, catch a fish to eat with my bear, to put over my fire, 
that that I created with this, which may or may not be a fire starter. We don't know. But then I have a little surf and turf for dinner while I'm out there. Don't cheat yourself, okay? Maybe this goes with this. Maybe it, maybe it comes together. Maybe this is for fishing. I don't know. Oh. Sorry, I had a thing pop up. That's a whistle. This is good. This is good. I can, if I hear the, the rescuers calling my name, I'm over here. I'm over here. That's good. It comes with a little clip so I can, maybe I can attach it to the Swiss Army knife so I don't lose it so that if, if the rescuers, if the search party is calling my name, I'm not like, where's my whistle? It's, a, it's already attached. It has this thing right there. Okay. Um... We have a safety pin holding a bunch of other safety pins. I can't really think what I'd need that for right now, right this minute, but you know, it's always, you know, here's the thing. My mom always said it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So what if I'm out there and I'm like, dang it, I wish I had a safety pin, done. Just put those back in there. Okay. Got some tweezers, which are obviously to pick the bones out of the fish that I caught with my fishing line, because um, nobody wants to swallow a fish bone. That's culinary 101. Or what if I have debris in my leg, rocks from the ravine, um, and I need to clear the debris field? That's a Grey's Anatomy thing for you. If I need to clear the debris, from the field, I can pick the rocks out with this, um, with these plastic tweezers. Beautiful. Okay, this is another one of those clippy doodads, um, but it has a compass on it. And I'm going to be real honest with you. I don't really know how to use a compass, and I don't know that I was ever taught how to use a compass. If I was, I don't remember. I think you're supposed to, like, are you supposed to hold it like this? Or are you supposed to hold it like... Is that how you do it? But then what is it north? West, south, east. Okay, so it points... I know it points to your direction. So, like, that's north. And I actually know that that's north. So that... I guess she's accurate. I don't know. I, I need to read more into that. Um, so I'm prepared directionally where to go. Flashlight. <laughs> a flashlight that does not come with batteries. Make sure I install those. Obviously. Another belt clip, y'all. My belt is going to be locked and loaded. Um, or, I feel like I'm really going to need my, um, my tool belt when this happens, but we'll see. Okay, we have what I feel is um, an excessive amount of cotton swabs. Uh, again, Kind of like the, the safety pins. Don't know what they're for, but you never know when you're going to need them. Probably might need these to also clean the debris field with my tweezers. Um, this is 13 minutes long already. Probably not going to post this. If I do and you're still here, you a real one. Um, there's that. Triangular bandage. Try to hurry this along. Emergency blanket. I've always wanted to, and not that I've wanted to be in the situation where I need to use an emergency blanket, but I'm very curious as to how these work and if they work. This is heat and cold protection. So, good. So since I'm using my ponchos for the roof, I can use my emergency blanket to protect me from the elements, heat or cold. Could be in a desert, could be in the snow. Got my emergency blanket. Good to go. Moving over here. Oh, I know what this is. Okay. This is like a, a, a bracelet, I think. I can't do it right now. But it's a bracelet that you wear, but it like does things. 
So I think this thing is like a fire, like a fire thing, maybe, like this. That, this is probably not to start a fire. I don't know. I just have it in my head that that's what it's for. But I know that this part is like to start a fire. And then this part, I don't know, looks maybe like a bottle opener. In case I need to drink a beer. I don't know. Um, it also has a tiny compass. And then also I think that somehow, I won't do it right now, but I think that somehow this part unravels into a very strong rope. I do know what this is. I've seen these. So maybe if I do fall down the ravine, I can unravel this rope, attach it to this thing and use it to climb back up the ravine. I don't know how strong this is. I don't know what kind of weight this holds. Like I'm not huge, but like I'm also not small. So I don't, I don't know if that'll work, but I do know what that is. Maybe I should just start wearing this every day. Um, as to just feel a little bit safer at all times. It's a little clunky. I don't know. All right, we got it. We got to be almost to the end of this thing. 20 bucks, guys. This is a lot of things. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Lots of alcohol wipes. Lots of alcohol wipes. I like the, oh, they keep on coming. Oh, more. Tons of alcohol wipes. I'm never going to be able to get all of this back so neatly in this bag. I mean, so there you have it, guys. Um, my review is that it's $20 well spent. Um, it came with a lot of things that I might use. So this is going to go in my car. Um, 16 and a half minutes later, um, I would like to, you know, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things happening in the world today that we should worry about right there's a lot a lot a lot going on but i'll tell you one thing you don't have to worry about this girl because i'm safe i'm good don't you worry about me have a great day